Five years ago, I had a plan. That plan was to get Hashtag United promoted three times in five years. Today, that plan could come true. As of next season, Hashtag United will no longer be the world's best known amateur football team. Why? Because we're turning semi-professional. Later on in the game though, Hashtag are going to get another chance to do the same thing. Another free kick from a similar area, whipped in by Tekkers, headed by Marcus Stamp. Oh, and it's a goal! And it's the first ever league goal for Hashtag United. History has been made. Marcus Stamp has written his name in the Hashtag History books. Go on, H, go on, H, 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 H coming through! Oh. Trying to kick it over Wilkinson! Oh. Yeah. It's 10 to 10, ref. I love that from Tasha. No goal kick. Yes! Come on, boys. They've done it. They've done it. Yes! Yes! Come on. They said it couldn't be done. Well, it's been done. And it can't be undone. Hashtag United are going up. First season in non-league football. I'm not sponsoring a women's football team. Instead, I think we're going one better. We're bringing a women's team into the Hashtag United family, growing the club and offering some long-term support to our very own Hashtag United women's team. Josh Asuda looking to beat his man. Puts it across. Yeah! George, Smudger. Smith. Composure, composure. Back. Jesse Wall Lassen thinking about a shot here. Oh, oh my god! god. Jesse! Jesse Wall Lassen! Jesse's gonna find Toby here, is he? Toby, Dang thinking it. about a shot maybe. He's hit it! Look at this! Look at this! It's me League North! Hashtag United! Oh, hashtag United! That's from the FA website! Get the points per game trophy out for the lads! I think it's done! Jesse's gonna hit this. Here we go. Oh, it's good! Oh my god! Wow! What a strike from Jesse Wallalassen on the free kick, and he's done the see. Here's Kojo. By the way, Bano wants it back Bano. post. Bano back stick. He's looking for ball. it. That's the Bano! ball. Oh! oh! What a Shut finish! Up. Over to Luke Hurst, thinking about a shot here. Hits it. Oh! oh! What a strike from Luke Hurst! Turn back nicely. Chance is an eight is a shot. And you know what? There is a little bit oh, of a tussle going on here. Wait, he's going to the back pocket. Oh my god, I do not believe What it. on earth? That's a very nice ball over though. Fantastic first touch and just like that, yeah. out of nowhere. It's that man we talked about earlier. Now he obviously is predominantly right footed, but that doesn't mean he can cut in and cause some problems, which he does! Oh, oh, go, 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 go! He's gone over. He's given it. He's gone over the line. He's gone over the line. Oh, he's come through to the top goal scorer in the league here. Can he add to his to tool for the season? Yes. Can't let him do that. Goes to Jermaine instead. Jermaine controls it. Puts it towards the back post. Yes! 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 Come on! <laughs> Alex Sandiola! Back to PK. PK takes a touch inside. Very nice. He wants another goal. Can he hit one? Still going here. Left foot. Turns in. Ooh. What a goal this will be! What a goal this will be! Oh my god! That's unbelievable from PK! Oh wow, he's done it. Wow, that is a killer. He's done it. We're gonna play with nine men. Oh my god, it's actually a farce. It's actually a farce. Come on, PK. Up against Chris Sutton's son, Ollie Sutton. PK, humble. Come on! We don't know how to lose! Scoops it it's in. A good bar. Oh, it's a big header away from Jermaine Harris. Here. Jermaine just digs it Our towards post. the back post. Yes! 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 Come on! Come on, there get it! Is! Get it! There it is! Over to the 
Big, big game today. Devs is going to say it's hashtag just another game, but today is a massive one. Devs isn't counting the points, but we definitely are, uh, especially on the social side of things. 13 points to go will win us the league title and automatic promotion into the ESPN Prem, which is the aim at this point in the season. And of course, after being beaten 4-0 away from home in this fixture earlier in the season, one of only three league defeats this season, this game means a lot to the boys. AT's been screaming it all week. GBG, get back gang. It's revenge time, people. Anyone that's ever done us dirty, today we make it happen. Said, yeah, I mean, we haven't, I haven't forgotten about the feeling coming home from last time. They handed us our asses last time. Yeah, it was a thumping. We owe ourselves. How many times could them keep them motivated? I feel like we're going to slip up at some point. I hope it's not today. So not much that sort of bugged me over a season, but their opposition bench, when we paid them away in the lane, and they was falling you up against us and trying to embarrass us, that has stuck in my head since that day. Let's go. Right, this is big guys, this is big. We play a side today that beat us 4-0 earlier this season and against a team we've never beaten in the league. Can we get to 21 wins today? Let's hope so. You know what? Jermaine won't give up. He's got there. He's got there first. Great flick back to AT. Here is PC. Dinked in towards the back post. Toby's up. There's Greg. Oh, actually, Tomo Anderson. Warren dispossessed. And now PK tries once more to AT. Lovely flick from Alex Teniola to release Toby Aramalan on the right hand side. Enters the box. Possibly going to be a corner coming in here. Callum Harrison. And a lovely little sidestep Cruyff. He finds AT. He goes wide now to Toby. This will be a lovely goal if Hashtag can convert into the box, to the line. Cuts it across. It's into the hands of the goalkeeper, Robinson. And Felix are able to clear. And there goes the half-time whistle. A pretty frustrating half for the tags. I'm sure Devs have some words to say to get a bit of an inspired performance for the second half. Let's go, man. Let's go. Shut the f up. Don't Peter out today. No, I'm not against these. No way. If we do things sharper and we're brighter, we're going to win this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see if that team talk from Devs can inspire a big reaction in this second half. And here is that man, AT. He tries to shoot, and you know what? It's hit the crossbar. Callum Harrison. The free kick whips it. It's a really good strike, but Phil does just enough to stop it and then gather it on the second chance. Jermaine Francis, great ball in. Pedro Cavalli, what can he do? Drives the cut back, doesn't quite get there, but Wine almost does anyway. It's now to Matty Waldridge. We talked about him coming in and getting a right hand side. It actually was a shot from his left hand side, and there was an appeal for something. They know that they're obviously defensively short, so they've just banked in, wasted time where they can. and. That is, that, like is that, that same guy again, Stuff Andre like Hasnali, who just jumps on the floor. I mean, what's wrong with you, mate? PK lines up for a shot, strikes away. Dropped out by Billy Holland, but not all the way out. Jermaine is up above everybody, as he so often is, but no one's making that run through. The ball comes in, though. It's deep and over everyone. Cornhill gets on the end of it. Be one of them where the guys at Sudbury we're looking at our result going it's nil nil so if we can just get a goal we get to put a dagger through their hearts it's a second yellow we thought they've been time wasting for a while we've spoken about it here but Ainsley this time is maybe he's, he's the one who's paying the price but the rest of his team's actions particularly Callum Robinson the goalkeeper pumped forward by Ando onto the run of Wyan Reid who goes down can he find a man in the box he's over everyone Jermaine Francis yes! who does it incredible stuff incredible scenes for the tags just a few Guess moments later, from them going down to 10 men, the ball is played to Wyan Reed, and he gets down and puts an inch perfect pass into that man who can't stop scoring goals. It's Jermaine Francis. That is unbelievable. What a time to be a tag. I mean, that must really hurt Felix, though, because they've been grinding. It's another red card. Another red card. It's Callum another Harrison. red card. 
And he's blowing. There we go. And there is the final whistle. We started off with a frustrating day for Hashtag United. Then did a frustrating one for Felix though. But Hashtag won't mind about that. We go back to nine points clear. 21 wins in a row. The job is not done yet. And there is another big job to be done next Saturday away to Stowe Market. It will be a very, very tough game. Make no mistake about it. Don't tweet before games, man. GBG. Don't tweet before games, bro. Where's my phone? We spoke at half time about discipline, didn't we? And not losing ours and allowing them to lose theirs. And they did. They end up getting punished for the, for the, for the time wasting. Don't get carried away with it. It's a good three points. That's all it is. Good three points. But well done for sticking at it. It's tough, isn't it? When, when people tweet and put stuff online, like, it's hard not to bite, in it? But you do our talking on the pitch, in it? I said, I was like, if it gets to 80, do you know what? I'll just take a draw, but the fortress, man. You don't lose at home, bro. Hard fought victories, you know, that's when it feels best. And they worked hard for that one, a great win. Lovely stuff, man. I'm real. Gassed. What a result, by the way, midweek. The women, four points clear now after the Wimbledon draw. Four games left, but now it's back to business. We're here, men's game. It's time to go to Stone Market, let's go. Yeah, a few changes to the side and we always talk about this next man up mentality. And uh, yeah, there's a few boys, Wyan, Max, a few of them injured and they've been playing really well as well. So chances for Nathan Smith to come into the side, uh, Lou Watson as well, Skippo, who's not had too much first team action this year. So next man up. We are the best team in this league, but we have to prove it every single time we step out onto the pitch. Go out there and play like a team that you are. Just be that team. We've never beaten Stowe Market. Uh, we should have beat them in the last game after that crazy offside decision, but we've never actually beat them, Lewis. Wow. Stowe Market still got the ball, they swing it in, it's a head up, and they've scored. Listen, we've got to pick ourselves up. We're in unreal form, we just need to go out there, just find our feet. It's pinballing around, Tobes still got a hold of it now, just trying to get a delivery into the box, and it's a good one, and it's go there on. for Oli Miles, go and he oh. Pedro again, he's going to play this one short though to PK. PK takes a touch. Little swinger into the back stick, and I think that is Tomo. Pedro and Toby have swapped wings. Jermaine's going to cut inside though with that left foot delivery. He's got time for Toby. Toby's going to head it back. Did he try the cushion oh. header there? Played in, let run, and hit. And it has gone all the way in. And hashtag find themselves 2 0 down to Stone Market. We look entitled. I can live with getting beat. I can't live with lack of effort. Not a stage where you've got so much to play for. No one's your been lying to you for four months. Why would you lose your confidence from that? Should be on top of the world. Just have a go and come off the pitch and me seeing my team, our team, out there again. Because that ain't our team. Stone Market are going to break down the left hand side. Tomo there in support, it's played across the box and it's 3-0. Not dealt with at the back stick there, you have to say it was given away. Jermaine going to drive forward with it, is he going to have a shot? He sees Matty Waldridge in support, passes it over to Tomo. Tomo looking to float one in, he does it really well. Goalkeeper's come out and he's claimed it really well. Now Kojo's flicked it on and now it's falling around into the edge of the box. Can AT get a shot off? Oh, it's well dealt with. He gets another chance though to lift it in. That one's a lot better, a lot higher as well. It's well challenged by Lewis Watson. Go on, Kojo. Bang, good whip. That's what I'm talking about. Back stick, Tomo. And I think, oh, I thought the keeper touched it. Kojo bringing it forward, passes it to Jermaine. It's two of them now, it's 2v1. Someone go around. Kojo, first time delivery across the floor. Throws it as far as he can into that box. The AT flicks it on. It looks like it's going to go in go. and there we go. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, lads. Good little turn there from PK. He takes a heavy touch with the left foot. He hits it with the left foot. It goes through the whole crowd of players. 
Guys, I know the run is over. 21 wins in a row. What an amazing run it was. You have to say at any level of football, that is absolutely insane. Obviously, we're still in first place, although that gap has closed now between Hashtag and Sudbury to just six points. In the same way I didn't let you get up there and carried away when you're winning games, there's no need to be down there because we've lost the game. Preparation for next week starts at the moment we walk out of this dressing room. And you get in that bar, get around each other, and we're loud on the coach and we stick together and we bounce back like we did earlier on in the season. Yeah. It's been an unbelievable effort. I think he downplayed that just what he's achieved in that run. But it counts for nothing. We don't get the job done. Saturday we just we, we weren't good enough. Probably the second bad day we've had this season, the other one being Felix Stow away, but it happens sometimes. There's been games within the run that we could have lost. I'm not saying that you know we necessarily would have deserved to lose or but there's certainly games where we hadn't been at our best and we found a way to win. Um, there are games where we had to ride our luck a little bit as well. Um, that happens and that will continue to happen over the, the next five games. Am I worried about how the players will react? No, not at all. I'm sometimes concerned about the noise around the play, you know, it's what we do, it's, yeah, but and sometimes that creates unnecessary you know, pressure is the right word or expectation. It's something that we have to manage and we'll do our best to manage that. This isn't a, re a reaction to us getting beat. What is a reaction to us getting beat is him being. <laughs> wow. Let's put it down as a blip. Let's respond and react in the right way with with aggression and energy and just bring that kind of enthusiasm back to, to our play and that when we go and we go and steamroll the teams. Win Saturday, you'll have Monday off. Thanks. Yeah, got to win first. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get ourselves out there then with carers, yeah. The games we now face are very, very difficult games. The teams we're playing, have got more to play for, you could argue, than us, because preserving a status is more important than stepping up. To some extent, they'll see us as a free hit, which will make them dangerous, but I'd like to think it'd make us dangerous for them as well. Welcome back to Teniola TV. Obviously, last week wasn't good for the tags, but we are here back at home. Every game is massive for us, but also the clubs we're playing, it's also massive for them as well. Coggleshaw and Edda Bottom, they're 19th in the league at the moment. I think every good team never loses twice. So you always hear that, like once you lose once, that's it, you never lose twice in a row. And I think sometimes you need a loss to bring you back down to size, a bit of a reality check sort of thing, that the job's not done yet. It's gonna be one hell of a ride this April, man. This team, this squad, this club is built for big days. And it's time to respond to last week. If we sell that, we're playing with a pace and energy that the opposition can't match. Let's go, boys. Come on, boys, come on. We keep doing what we've been doing all season, boys. Hope you guys at home are going to strap yourself in for this one. Can we go back to winning ways after last week's performance against Stone Market away? We shall see. Can we see a ball into the box? He does. Oh, Just fantastic ball. ball. By the way. Matty Waldridge, Wine's going to get it back. Good, another great delivery, a fly kick from Alex Teniola. Hey, come on. Matt Waldridge now, plays the ball into the box. Oh, first time PK, bang. Going to stand up his man, oh, fancy feet there. Left footed cross, towards the back stick. It's gone over the keeper, but he gets a vital touch on it. Gives it to Jermaine Francis, who's got Harry Critchley overlapping on the left-hand side. He's going to whip this first time, isn't he? It's a lovely ball to the back stick. Keeper gets another good touch on it. Comes back to Wine now on the edge. Good whip, back stick. Lewis Watson, unlucky. I think he actually came off AT there in the end. Both Lewis, oh, both Eman and AT challenging for that one. Drive, Matty. Drive. Look, you've got Wine on the right-hand side. He's staying on side. He's done it well. Time for another cross. Back stick. AT. Sends it high into the sky. Eman trying to win the second. It's bouncing around in the box. No one seems to be getting it out as much. He's going to drop now to the number eight. Needs some hashtag shirts behind him. Oh my goodness. 
the number 10 has just absolutely fired one out of nowhere into the top left-hand corner. Gives it to Lou Watson instead. Now comes over to Matty Wardry. He's going to take a shot. He's going to chip it. Back stick. Oh! Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper from AT. Plays the ball into the box. One by AT. One by E-Man. And that is the goal we've been looking for. No, the Lino has actually given offside to E-Man. And there is the whistle for half time. A disappointing first half for Hashtag United. They're celebrating half time. Wait, 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 wait. Leave it! Wait, 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 wait. Leave wait, it! Stop. Wait! They've just got a reaction out of this. That's what they're trying to do. You will win this game, providing we don't self destruct. Let me take all the pressure, it's not yours. Don't forget the way they're behaving, don't forget the way they behaved last time. All right, but we stay in control, we go out there, we win the game, and we walk off with smiles on our faces. Boys, come on, this is our game, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We just need a goal, I think that's all we need, and we'll, we'll be back on track. Get a side for us, Garner. He's got Critchy on the left, he gives it to him. Critchy now left footed, delivery low across the box. And now PK's gonna find himself a bit on the edge. He's gonna take a shot. Short one then. Go on. Oh, it's cleared off the line. Just bang it, Critch. Just bang it. Just bang it. I don't mind it. Jermaine then gets it. Crosses it in. AT. AT. Go on, Critch. Back in. Oh, let's do it. Do it. Goes in. Low drive across the box, is fumbling. Great pass from Matty. Come on, Pedro, one on one. Dinks it. Back stick. Yes! Come on! Come on, 80! That's the hashtag way. That's what I'm talking about. He walks straight back to the halfway line. That is a great goal. Finally, it's come. There's no reason why we can't go on and get a winner now. Let's do it, boys. Come on! Toby. Pushed in the back, but somehow nice. managed to well kick done. the ball. Well done. Plays it forward to Oli Miles. Ball played in. Oh, across the face of goal. Come on, Jay. to Jermaine Come on, Francis. What can he do? Slides in Pedro. Hits it. Come on. Ball in. Great ball. Yeah. He's gone in, boys. We can't believe Come it. On. There it is. There's the goal we needed. It's Two Tom ones, a hashtag with Tomo Anderson. Tom Anderson. Things you love to see. It's the hashtag way. Come on. Come on. It was going to happen. But that's the hashtag way. It's what we do for the content, boys. We leave it to the last few minutes. It's what we do. Switch on, boys. Switch on. Switch on. All we got to do now, boys, is just see out these last few minutes and the game is done. Away. Big delivery. Well body. done. Pedro. Come on. Pedro. Use that pace. Come on, Pedro. Use that body. Come on, Pedro. Keep going, my boy. Come on, Pedro. Run. Come on, Pedro. Run like the wind. Go on, Pedro. Pedro. Oh, in. my goodness. Oh, he tries to go round. Shirt being pulled everywhere there. Falls to the crucial player oh, and he's missed kick. You have to admit there. For a goal kick. It's got to be it now. And that is yeah. it. Come on, boy. I tell you what, we probably didn't want to win it in that fashion, but at the end of the day, we got the job done. You can just see the players on the floor there, the Coggershaw players. Three of them all collapse, but that just goes to show how powerful. Uh, the hashtag team is going forward, it caused them a lot of trouble, but yeah, fair play to Coggershaw. What we showed there towards the end was character. We showed that intent, we showed that determination just to get us over the line, and to be honest with you, that is what helps you win leagues. Ah! We always find a way! Monday off. Get in there! Come on, come on. Let's go! Let's go! Everyone's coming in, everyone's fine. I just, I just come on, right? I see AT run, I see Pedro hey, run, everyone's running. Hey, 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 I see Red running there. No, hey, man, no, 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 I thought he'd scored because he was running off and I was just going to go to the corner with him. I knew I didn't touch him. Oh, no. Everyone was claiming, I see Lewis Watson come with him. I said, he didn't touch that. I was thinking, can I get a cheeky little... That's big, it's easy to crumble when it's not going your way. Good afternoon's work because people would have been looking at that getting a little bit excited. No one can deny that we deserve the three points. And that's a fantastic reaction. And you can have Monday off. Great three points, well done.
Oh, I've lost my voice. Uh, I don't even know what to say. But do you know what? When Dev says at half time, yeah, like, you're going to win this game. You're going to win it. Like, I always get scared personally because, like, if you don't win it, then obviously I have to cut it all out. Do you know what I'm saying? But, like, the fact we have one today means I can put that in at half time, which tells a story. It's just good vibes, man. And I said it on comms when the goal went in the second one. It's what we do, man. We leave it late for the content. I just start to feel like today was an our day. The amount of times the ball will go in the box and it will get cleared, the come goal will come catch it, players will fall down, we weren't getting fouls, there's all sorts going on. Um, but yeah, in the end we, we, we managed to we managed to pull through. Wow. I don't I mean I'm in the memorial tip three, we was one nil down and then two one, but this is more special. We've done it in the final yeah, ten minutes. Yeah. That was special. Sunday was really good, really great atmosphere, uh, real togetherness and uh, sincere. You know, I'm not saying other clubs don't get that, but I'm sure we certainly have it here at Hashtag. Come over here right at the beginning of the season, just before the first game, last training session, and I could see what a good group of players Devs and Joe had put together. And it's just gone on from there. It's just been a really, really good season. And obviously we've got we've had this fantastic run that's put us in the position we are now. We've got senior players who are playing for pride. They've got lots of experience behind them at higher levels and, and that drives them on while the, the youngsters are obviously looking to make their name in the game. And, and I think the combination of that has, has driven each other on. You know, the, the younger players are keeping the older players young and while the, the older players are passing on all their experience and, and the pride in which they, they hold themselves accountable the senior players, I think it's been a real inspiration for the younger players, so I think that's the main thing. It's brought everybody together and when we get beat, you know, we're not walking in dressing rooms thinking, does anybody care? It's, we're trying to, we're trying to sort of make them forget about it because they're just in it together, which at this level is unusual. It's been tough, obviously, watching the boys every week, I've been going to all the games, yeah, you just get that feeling you just want to get out there and help, especially when things aren't going so well in the game. You just want to get back out there, but I'm training tonight, hopefully with uh, four games left, get some minutes before the end of the season. Yeah, when I was watching from abroad for every other game, it's lovely because I was on a six, seven hour time difference, so it was all over by about 10 a.m. And I had the rest of the day ahead of me, and I was in a great mood because um, the tags had won, and it was about 35 degrees, so I had no room for complaints. In Stowmark, it happens, and I just wish I'd never gone on holiday. And I was like, I felt it was all my fault because if I was up there, it would have been different. Not that I'd do anything really. And uh, so, yeah, when you're winning, it's good. When you're losing, it's horrendous. And it kind of ruined my day. But it does do that if I'm in England as well. It's not a, you know, it's relevant where I am really. It's more just a case of um, you feel a bit guilty really. First and foremost, we come away today with a clean sheet. If we're solid and we're organised, we, the rest of it will look after itself. And we are underway for Hashtag United versus Galston. Pico looking for the switch, picks out Matty Waldridge. Matty with a first touch, inviting a shot on that right foot. Oh! Yay! Come on, Matty! <laughs> it's Go just on, Matty. that simple. Jermaine's there, he gets up well, beats the keeper, and it's oh! no! Gone past Ingram with such ease. Can he get a shot off? He does! It's a really good save from Jessup. Jermaine on the ball. Spaces inside, that's amazing oh feet from Jermaine. God. Now, digs it in towards Teniola. Oh, what a goal that is. You have to say, it's a fantastic header, but it's made by Jermaine. It's Teniola time. Out swinging towards the back post. 
Oh, it's off the line. Going to go a bit further this way. It's a good ball. Header across. It's a really good save from James Phil once again to push it over the bar. Right on half time here. And there it is, the whistle. A very good start to the half. Galston did get back in it a little bit, but it is still 2-0 to the tags. So we're looking good for three points if we can keep this up in the second half. Greedy, bro. You should have held it and gave it to me, bro. I'm not I'm nah, I swear bet. to you. He's just jealous. Think... He's just jealous because he can't shoot like me. That's all. I'm, I je... Bro, that wasn't even on target, bro. What was that? <laughs> wow! What a bite. It's been really, really good, but also we're frustrated on the sideline because it should be more and it should be better. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. This is how you shut out a game. Just gonna... Corner up for Galston. It's going to be Sweeney to take it. Left footed. Chance. Oh, he's headed across. Back in towards Philp this time. Oh, hang on. Toby's kept it on here. Can you deliver it, Toby? Puts it in low. E man tries to back it. Oh, that's got to be. That's got to be. How is that not a penalty? Oh, oh it's gone close. Main Francis back post. Toby. Oh. PK's just going to take it. Oh, and he's saying it went off. Oh, it's good. Yeah. No, the Lino's flag oh. up. Matty Waldridge goes back inside. Lewis Watson, that's superb. And he's going to play it forward. Jermaine, first touch oh, is good. Bye-bye. Oh. Beats his man. Can he get into the box? Does he pass or does he shoot? The he opts for the pass. Down. Toby! Oh, he's got a score. 89 minutes on the clock. PK gets it. Brilliant feet. Yoni gets away from his man. Oh, he's looking for Toby. That's a lovely ball. He's in a great area. Toby's got there, he's got Jermaine next to him. It's going to be a goal. There it is. Brilliant work from Toby. Jermaine, another goal. But you've got to say, Yoni Vukaj has made that goal with that pass. It's a big 3-0 win. If we win on Monday and they draw on Monday, we've won the league. You were really good today. What's really important is that we rest, recover for Monday because the turnaround is so quick. And I don't want to see a sip of alcohol past anyone's lips. <laughs> if you really want to be champions over the course of the next week, then it's worth sacrificing. 48 hours from now, we could be league champions if it goes our way. Um, if not, we'll do it on Saturday. We are at Ashford Middlesex with three games to go. We need two wins to finish top, which is that promotion spot. Only one team goes up this year, remember. Wimbledon right on our tails. They're one point behind us, but they have played an extra game. So we need to get six points from the next nine for promotion. Come on, girls. Let's not be that team that throws it away. Tags on three. One, two, three. Tags. Come on. Four points clear, one more win. When you do win this league, and I do believe you will win this league, you have earned it. Every time we play against someone, they bring out absolutely everyone to try and stop you. And that's the one thing I love about you know, the brand of Hashtag, everyone wants to beat us, but also it's a quality sign of this team is that I don't care who you throw in front of us, we will, and we have, beaten you. One hand's on it, it's got to put that one on it. It is a nice feeling to know one more to go after a long season, just one last one and we're over the line, but we've got to get there.
didn't have any doubts after Wimbledon. There's no two ways about it. We had a bad day and they were on fire. You go away from that loss and then you go out there and you beat Norwich 4-1 the week later. So there was no panic. It was all positive. There was no negativity, no time to reflect and feel sorry for ourselves. Just get on with the job. I reminded them straight away after the game, look, we're still in control here. We've got seven games left. We win them, we go up. The bond between the players and the whole squad is superb. I mean, morale is just absolutely buzzing. All got winning mentality. They all know what's got to be done. They're all in it for one thing, and that's winning the league. I mean, there's lots of experience in the side, which is good because it's a calming experience, so they don't panic. The three signings that we made during the, well, the last few weeks, we had Courtney, we had Esme, um, we had Maddie. These were long-term targets. I've been trying to recruit them for years, but they gave us a boost when we needed it. Everyone just gets on. It's just a complete and utter like, vibe. And uh, I think that takes it onto the pitch. And then we play with each other and for each other. I honestly feel today's the day. I might have accidentally said it with devs in the room. Well, no, I didn't. No, to be fair, it was more of a case of um, talking to Alfie about preparing for if it happens. And you've got the production, you've got the team, and then you've got the management, and all of us are looking at this day like very differently. So the management have just got one job, and it's today's game. The players have got just one job, and it's today's game. And then the production side, we have to prepare like behind the scenes, like Eddie's like, sorting out graphics, and like he's he's got the laptop here with his screen facing him, and Devs is just sitting over there. Dev sees that, that's Eddie's head gone. And like all these things, you kind of got to keep stuff on the hush, but then also. Yeah, it's weird, man. It's weird, but hey, this is why we do what we do, man. Harry's fully fit, full week of training. He's just unlucky not to be in the squad on Saturday, and then, yeah, go from there fully fit. I'm waiting to see the t shirt come up. Right, it wasn't exactly. I don't know. They put you in charge of music, have they? Is that like your birthday present, is it? Do you want to start playing some stuff that's more age appropriate to you then? Yeah. Frank Sinatra and all that, wasn't it? Yeah, Beethoven. Beethoven. <laughs> three points is our aim for today. We come away with the three points. Don't worry about anything else. That looks after itself. Let's go, come on. We are underway here at Hashtag versus Whittam, where the title could be wrapped up today if we win and if Sudbury drop points. Come on, the lads, up the tags. Here's PK. Quick feet. Jinky, my jinky. Finds Jermaine, whips it in early. Looking for 18. Almost a repeat of Saturday's heroics at Galston. Nice from Pedro, sends his man to the shops. Back to Critchley. Good pick out. Looking for Jermaine. Try something acrobatic. Jermaine, look at Toby. Is Toby him? We'll find out now. He's going to get the ball down this right side. He's up against uh, number six, McLean. Is McLean him? Comes back to Matty Waldridge. Waldridge whips it in. Oh, oh my God. How's that not been dealt with at the front post? I don't know. Go on then. Go PK's on. just him. divided their defence with a pass here. He's unleashed Toby. Can he get a shot off? Goes back onto the left. Wants it on his right though. And he's maybe ah. done too much. He's shown too much of the ball to McLean. Oh wait. Puts God, it in post. Why is he hey, it back? He's tried to pass it, hasn't he? Matty Waldridge also came through that series. PK. Great ball, by the way, outside the foot. Lovely, Lovely pass from PK. He's having a really good game, I have to say. Toby trying to get past oh his man. He's gone gosh. through the legs. Toby now hit with the left. goes to Jermaine instead. Jermaine left puts foot. it to his left. Goes across to Pedro. Whoa! Oh, what a goal that is! Toby could have hit goal. it. He passed it. Jermaine could have hit it. He passed it. Pedro hit it. And he's found the back of the net. Wow. Oh, Harry, honestly, he's invited him inside there. Come on, then. Still have Toby. Fast feet, it's the Woo! shot! Oh, that's a save. It's got to be a save from Reese Madden. That's a save. Oh my gosh. That's better. Back post, who's there? Oh, he's in! He's in! <laughs> I don't know how much you knew about it, but I think Tom Anderson did get the final touch. Carvalho on the free kick. Can he get another assist? Looking for Lewis Watson. Oh, but Tom Anderson was there as well. Matty Waldridge. Looking for Toby. Oh, it's beautiful. These two are linking up like nobody's business. 
Matty looking for Jermaine as well. He's going to get involved. Goes back to Toby. The triangle's on display. A oh, beautiful. There is one second. Yes! The captain, the skipper, the Greek god himself. Lewis Watson with the third of the match. And there it is. 3-0 to the tags at half-time. We cannot be any happier with that performance. All eyes, though, on the Sudbury Coggeshall game, which, as it stands, is 0-0. And as things stand, we will be crowned champions and promoted at the end of this game. The team goals have been sick. What do you think of the goals, Max? Good. Good team goals, isn't it? Yeah. The, the last one was good. Lose. Like the pass oh. and then just set. Right, well. oh, no, Cheers, buddy. Don't let them off for you. Which is a big superb in that eye. Keep going. Still a lot to do. Still a lot of work to do. That overhead kick, Jimmy. That was an E man one. You went to E man school, not my school. If you went to my school, you would have scored that by overhead kick. Yes, my boy! That's it, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, why are you dusting up Harry like that, bro? Have I started? Right. I started nay -nay. I, I need the clips because I could have been in the group chat. But you did the skill and then it, uh, it got stuck between your feet and I just see you two laughing at each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how's that? <laughs> Bro, oh man. Can you, can you focus that at the top? Oh. Do you see that? Yeah, that looks nice. I'm going to start shooting as well. Get some people looking all tense, looking at their phones, the results, all of that. So, yeah man. You've got better appreciate this documentary we're about to make because Neil's been... Listen, these cameras are not light. <laughs> E-man, come here, hold this camera. I've been gymming anyway. Imagine holding that for like what three, four hours straight. Oh, mate, I could do it. Heavy still. Nah, it's heavy duty. Give it your. <laughs> no, you can hold it now then. What do you want me to do? Like, hey! See, I mean, see, hey, you see what I mean? You gotta watch where you're going as well. It's not. It's not That's that easy. That's 80. Shock! It's 80. 80. Just because it's his birthday. And yes, it's still nil nil as things stand in Sudbury against Coggeshall, so we're looking good. It takes two or three men to pull him back, I think. Jermaine, look, great turn. Look at him bursting into space. He's got Toby to his right. He finds him. Toby's got loads of options to cross it in at. Oh, it almost makes it cross. He get away with it. Carvalho on the ball. Goes back to Jermaine. Lovely little Go on, Jermaine. disguise passes. Leave Richard Font for dead. And he might hit one here. Great. Jermaine Francis! Yeah. Oh, my God! The man is a wizard! Hang on, He's I said to see some magic from him. I called that. He did indeed, and this man can do no wrong in a hashtag shirt. You do have to wonder how much longer he'll be in one because he has been fantastic in this second half of the season and we love Jermaine, we do. Come on hashtag, come on Coggeshall. Still Pedro, Jermaine, PK looking back for Jermaine, surely not another. Can you get it across Jermaine? Waldridge! Oh. Oh. Matty Waldridge in the box from right back. I tell you what, that was such a good play from Jermaine. Pedro, love it. PK, lovely link up between the two players. Looking for Toby, great first touch. Toby could make it five. Ah, oh, it's a good save from Reese Madden there. Lewis. Oh, it does well in the end after a heavy touch. Can he shoot for his second of the game? Surely not. Goes to Pedro instead. Can he get a second of the game? Carvalho thinking about it. Oh, Reese Madden could do nothing but parry it. Defected. Aldridge gets to it, Phil gets something on it. Oh my God, what a uh, mess. It is a 4-1 win for Hashtag in the end. Not enough to win the league, unfortunately, because Sudbury have won their game as well, so it's going to go another game. Who took his nightmare? Who took his nightmare? What a poor game. Neil Lynn? AT. AT. Tubbs. Thinks he's you. Yeah. AT. He will get on the, on the TV show, but I don't know what kind of island it'll be they put him on. <laughs> no way. They're not, because I have not, I've not had a call. <laughs> Do you want to talk? Because when I told you to go why I'd left Pedro come right, you went, no, I'm going right. So I just thought you maybe you want to make the decisions now. because Pedro doesn't want to play there. Is it? It's because you can do anything? No, it's Pedro doesn't want to play there. So, Pedro don't play so it's Pedro that basically said, if I'm not doing that. Is that what happened? Outrageous. Yeah? <laughs> I sense an air of frustration uh, at conceding, yeah? Yeah. Good. Good. I'm glad you're frustrated at that. I'm delighted for today. 
that's a really good weekend's work and we're one step closer to where we need to be and we know what we've got to do. Let's not lose our focus now we've got where we've got. We cannot lose up because if we do, this game bites you on the bum. And you know that because your ass is big enough, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, anything you, you want to add? No, well done, boy, good, boy. good work, well done, see you tomorrow. Well, well, come on there, boys! See you Thursday. Think about next week, yeah, the scenes, every goal that goes in for hashtag, like, everyone, it's going to feel that little bit better because... Yeah, as long you know as you do it, as long as you do it. I'd always rather do it as early as possible, I think, because it just takes some pressure off and you can plan for next season or whatever, but... And because I've got an hour fly home from Ireland for that game, and if I fly home from Ireland and then we don't, draw and we lose, imagine how pissed off I'll be on the flight back to Ireland I've got to take back. We haven't lost all game, all year at home, all season. Is it going to start next Saturday? I, yeah. I, hope, I hope you're right, I think you're right. See you on Saturday. You want to win something as a football player. Non-league sometimes people go their whole careers without winning nothing, so to win that would be brilliant. Some of the youngsters there would be a great achievement and hopefully they can push on next season and keep going. Watching the last three games for me, it's hard because you can't get involved. You can just watch and see people trying to do stuff and you're like trying to edge them on but you can't help them. But or you can just be there for the boys in training, like in the dressing room, before games, during games and you just keep going, keep going. But yeah, it's been frustrating, that, to say the least. If we can just keep going, just taking every game as it comes, but two wins would be fantastic. So We didn't really take much notice of the run itself, we were just trying to win games and that just kept breeding confidence as well, so it was good, yeah. Phillips has been superb. You know, he came in generally as a number two, you know, to fight for, fight for the number one shirt. Trained well, waited for his chance and took it and hasn't looked back. Get it. Just loves the camera so much. About to win the league, he's found his voice. Look at him. Get this camera out of my face. Get him off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Gaffer. Sorry, Gaffer. Saturday is the day we're going to lift the trophy. Don't tell Des I said that, but we need to organise what we're doing after. So we know we're staying here in Bowers, but after then, that's when the party really, really starts. And we don't know where we're going yet. We've left it to the last two days, two days to Saturday. So we'll see. Has it Hey, Eddie is making a flyer today. Eddie's making a flyer today. Hey, you don't need to train. And everyone everyone has to block Devs. You have to block Devs because he's going to go mad. Promotion party at Vine. You have to block Devs because he's going to message every man. Today's all about for us, like capturing the moments, and I have to take myself out of it and yeah, just try and capture the best bits I can for you guys at home. So yeah, I'm sacrificing my good time for you lot. So very appreciate me, man. I try and like remain focused whilst doing all the, the streams and whatnot, not lose my head in the, the celebrations and whatnot. I celebrate for like a split second before I suddenly go, right, let's get the replays, let's do the scores and, and all that stuff. But today might be a different situation as. Yeah, as big as this game is for us, so I'll try my best. I'm not sleeping with people. We have to concentrate on the game and nothing else. So let everybody else make noise. Shut that out now. And go and run all over them. We've said it all year. Go and run all over teams. Be relentless in what we do. Nothing changes for us. Just another three points. If I could pick a team to play against, it would have been these, to win a league. The only thing that stops us is complacency, and I've got no reason to doubt you, because you've been f***ing superb all season. Now go and do it one last time. Let's, oh, come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Bring the head. Bust the ass. Bust the leg. Come on. <laughs> More of the same thing, boys. 25 wins in 26 games. Let's make it 26 and 27, and let's make it a promotion today.
Great crowd here today. You can really see it lined up behind the hashtag goal. They're, they're looking for one here. It's Wine Reed crosses it in. He gets to Teddy Ola. Oh! Carvalho corner. Tom Anderson rising like a yellow salmon. Oh, what a touch that is from AT to unleash that man. Here Jermaine. is Jermaine. Can he put it back? AT! Yeah! There we go! There's the goal! It's Teddy Ola time once again. And of course, it's Jermaine Francis laying it on a plate like a Michelin star waiter. Toby, good header. Jermaine Francis finds AT, finds Toby. Toby, oh, that's a big challenge though. That was a good challenge, I think, from the number six, Duffy. Here's Pedro! Oh, it's another one! It's two, and it's looking very good for the tags. A long way to go, Seb. We're 2 0 up. He's going to shoot. He has shot. What a save! What a hand! James Phil. Good ball for Pedro in behind from Matty Waldridge. Can he get a shot away here? Looks for a pass instead. Oh, he's gone down. Penalty. He's going to get a penalty. It. Greg Halford, take it away for 3 0. It's in! Of course it's in! It's never not in when Greg Halford is in the conversation. Sir Gregory of Halfordshire, step up and take your throne. It's another goal. We talked about it. The hashtag's most decorated player scores one of hashtag's most important ever goals. PK's going to fancy him. He's He's running after the ball. He would he's be going to get there. As well. PK, he's a bit wide, but can he find someone else at the back post? Or can he shoot? PK! Yeah! yeah! Got it! Yeah! Got it! PK definitely set it up, that's all that matters. It's 4 0 to the tag. It's a goal in the last seconds of the first half, and everything is looking good. Who knew PK had pace, by the way? Right, what's that? 4 0? Yeah. Go. We are going up, sir. We are going up. But hey, we're in the changing room now. It's been good. But we have to see it out to the end. I want more from you. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous to be talking about, you know, the position we're in at half time. You know, it couldn't have gone any better in terms of the scoreline, but we've not done ourselves justice whatsoever. This is about standards. This is about pride. This is about going out and showing, showing you what a good side you are, not by doing anything out of the ordinary, anything extra clever or anything that's going to, but showing how good because be good decision makers, be better decision makers. And we are good and we're able to cope with complacency and still be 4 0 up at half time. Don't be come boring. On, Don't be boring. Who's this now? Who's this now? Hold up, PK. Who's this now? What are you doing, bro? Neil, Neil. Oh, Luke. Yeah, it's not pretty sad. I don't know if you want to go in there still. Quality oh, content. Where's the ball? Look at his face. Hey, wait, stop, we are losing. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hey, right, lads, hurry up, mate. Play like a pretty boy. Rest one to go. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you play like a pretty boy. <laughs> cool, you can't even ching ching that the fat left back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm passing to you, bro. Running like a truck. Don't let them draw you out, man. Running like a truck. I'm running like a truck, bro. Don't let them draw you out, man. Focus. Give me the rest of the world, Nathan, man. Focus, man. Don't let them draw you out. Take everyone to the club. And we're underway for the second half. An amazing 857 people here in the crowd today. It's a non-league home record for the tags. Throw in. Oh, it's brilliant. Jermaine, can you get a shot off? Goes back inside. He's going to score. Oh, it's just like that. Three substitutions and an instant goal. And another one for Jermaine Francis. Jermaine's been bowling us over with his performances for far too long. Reed, inside here. Found a little uh, line for him to take to the hit shot. Keeper spilled it. Loads of. Has he got an invitation? Got eh? He's been invited. Oh, oh and he's RSVP'd. Is he going to go short? E man's wanting it, but he whips it in towards the back post. Back Corner. Corner. Oh. Good punch away there from Fares. Toying him. You're playing with him. Jermaine against Kamara here. Great ball. Toby! Oh. Matty loves to shoot. Might have one here, you know. He's going to go through. Keeper's going to have to come. Left foot. Oh, he's done awfully well there, Fares. You've got to say fair play to Fares. You have to. Moriarty on the ball. Plays it to David Knight. Can he get something going in the box for the boys here? Oh, it's a great save from Phil. Still Jermaine. Can he put it in? Left foot. Goes back to his right. Scoops it. Max is there. Gets ahead on it. Cornhill! Oh, Maxie Cornhill is back <laughs> with a star jump. Let's go. 
you know what? Oh, no, well, don't give it. Give it a penalty. What a shame. Moriarty's going to take it for great waker in Rovers. But we've got James Phil! We've got James Phil! What a save! It's over! It's promotion! It's the title! We've done it again! Three promotions in four seasons. Another league title. And you've just got to put hashtag United alongside the likes of AFC Wimbledon and Salford City. These sort of teams. The rise through non-league has been just as meteoric. The story even more unique. And yes, whilst we may not share their long history, my God, our future is exciting. Devs is being thrown in the air. It's another promotion for him. The players often get the plaudits here and they should, but the manager and the management team and the physio team, Cindy CB's even on the field right now, getting the crowd going. But Devs, take a bow. I never doubted you. And if anyone ever did, they won't anymore. But the amount of work that every single person does in on and off the pitch, the volunteers, the organisation, the people that you know make things tick every day so they can go out and play, they all played a part in another promotion, in an unbelievable story that we've been telling now for seven years, but everything's been going up for a long time. We are the champions. We'll be saying hello to a new league next season, the Ishmian Premier Division, which is one league below the National League setup. It's been unbelievable this season. We've broken every record in terms of goals scored, in terms of win percentage. It's the highest we've ever finished, obviously, because it's a league title or the highest level we've ever played at. But we're going higher again. Words fail me a little bit at the moment. You are a very, very special group of young men. Medals rust, trophies go back, the memories of what stick with you. And what you've created as a group together, you will look back in years and years, when you're old men, when you're almost as old as Joe, don't know about Larry, he can't remember. <laughs> you will all share something very, very special and that is your champions together. Mm. Cherish it, enjoy it, you deserve it. Every single one of you is a champion. Well done, boys. <laughs>
two, three, but we're not just going to belong there, we're going to make a noise. Okay, so listen, enjoy everything we've got, but I'm not going to celebrate until we win tier three. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's made it so good this year in particular is the fact that obviously we've got we've got the youth teams, we've got the men, we've got we've got um, ourselves all kind of doing our own thing but successfully. It just makes it kind of, a, as cliche as it is, one big family as such. I go and watch the men's games and you get to know the players, you meet the players and they're, you know, they're all a good bunch of lads and come back across to the women, the women go and watch the men's games. It is truly one club. Yeah, it's, it's a touch of class from both the men and from the opposition QPR as our ladies, the champions of the FAWNL Division 1 South East, are clapped out with a massive guard of honour, double promotion. We've also got the youth team of course as well with their trophy here today. It's been a phenomenal 22-23 and one that all these ladies especially coming so close to promotion last season for most of these girls that were here. Uh, it's been a season for them to remember and, and one they've set the wrongs right from last season. As Hayley West looks to send it in, it's again in towards Malika. Takes a nice touch, Ava for only lovely football from the girls. Maddie Farrand, and that is 1-0 hashtag United Women. The girls are playing some absolutely liquid, or champagne football I should say. Excited for a break now though, Eman? Yeah, I am, I am. You know what, it felt so weird yesterday. And look at that, that's a great ball. Malika, oh. she's through, she's gone around the keeper. No, she goes for the dinky do. Has it gone in? We're waiting! Yay! It has! That's yes, the second! Right. What's going on? Chance there for Sammy. Could she get it in? She has! Fantastic flick on. Sammy through to Gillard. And the right yeah! foot, left foot finish! She's a striker in disguise, masquerading as a centre back. Your FAWNL champions! Hashtag United! What a season! What a team! In life, you've got to find your reason to get up in the morning and do it and this has been mine for the last seven years now and I think it's a lot of other people's as well which is what I love. I said to my brother after the men won the league a few weeks ago, what we should really take from this Seb is not just the, the, the accolades and the social media and all that, we should look at how many people are just happy that we won the league, whether it's people in the ground or online and that was just made out of nothing. So it's pretty good, special. <laughs>